What's up guys? Yes. Uh, we're at North Wales and we're at the abandoned lunatic asylum, Denby <laughs> Hospital. We're going to show you the outside round and everything, the abandoned. Yeah. We're not able to get in, it's literally grilled up, boarded up and yeah. there's a chance of dog handlers turning up. So we're going to do a quick explore on the outside yeah. and show you guys around. So this is, uh, this is it. This was the psychiatric unit for North Wales back in the day. Denby Asylum, and I think it was named after Lord Denby, who owned this particular bit of land, and I think he owned the castle at the top too. We walked around this building, and then I think that up there was what was the chapel and the morgue by the look of things. So we'll take a look around there, and it just goes to show, doesn't it? Again, another hospital for the mentally ill people to shut down. There's so many. And there's literally nowhere else for people to go now. This is a worrying thing. People are just left to cope outside now. So we'll have a look round. It's all smashed up, as usual, in Britain. You know, they have to come round and graffiti and smash everything up. Even though it's probably like a listed building. <laughs> uh, you know, it's probably 1800s at a guess. There's some of it down there. We haven't yet found a way in, and from what I can gather, uh, you can get in, but they come round every so often and check and kick you out, so we'll show you what we can. And then we're going to leave because we do want to do some other locations. And it's going to waste time if we get arrested, you know, and spend the night in the uh, police cells and stuff. So that's what's left of it, the roof's gone, windows. Uh, silos, no idea what they would have been for, and there's some more of the hospital at the back there. I'll just uh, zoom in and show you guys another extension of it there. So it's a ha massive, massive, massive place, and this is what's become of it. So I'll show you around this side, and then we're going to go up to there's a chapel and the mortuary up there, so we'll take a look at that. But as soon as we hear dogs barking, we're leaving, guys, so if we have to run. You know the reason why. I think I told you, if you've watched our other abandoned episodes, we've had a lot of issues with uh, police turning up and dogs turning up and things like that. Uh, so it's a little risky sometimes to do these places. But if we can find a way in, I think that's just a storage cellar. Don't actually think that's a proper way in. What was that noise then? I'm on my own here. There was like a tap on the can or something. There shouldn't be any noises because Andy's gone that way. He's not even with me. I heard like a tap then on a pipe or something. God knows what that was. But I suppose it's haunted. I mean, you know, the mentally ill lived here. were incarcerated here. And many of them were kept all their lives in. So... You know, it will be, it will have some bad memories and some sad memories and it will be haunted. I dare say it will be, you know, haunted. There's a bit of a door open here. Uh, but I've lost Andy now, so... What the hell is he? He's gone down there. And we can actually get in here. Anyway, I'll just zoom in and show you a little bit more of the footage until he turns up. See. And even that building over there was part of the asylum. And up at the top there is a castle, ruins. Which we're going to try and get to that. I think we're going to do that tomorrow. Uh, right, I've lost Andy. And to be fair, I told him we need to stick together because if, you know, we get caught by dog handlers, we're going to have to leg it out of here. And I think it's better to leg it out as a pair. You know, then, but... You know what, if he gets caught, the problem is if he gets caught, he's got the car keys and everything, so I'm like just stranded here. I said to him, don't go off on your own, let's just keep together and find a way in. And he's gone off on his own, so if we get split up and we get arrested or whatever happens, then um, we won't know till morning. 
And it's for these kinds of places that are so huge for me, it's safety in numbers. I think if you get a handful of people, like five, good five or six people to do it, then it's safe and it's secure. But Andy's such a daredevil with no thought for um, what could happen or anything. And he's disappeared now into the asylum and I have no clue where he is or anything. Um, but we have actually found the door in now, so um, if he turns up then, we should wait and see. I mean, that looks pretty promising for getting in over there. But it's getting over the fence, you see, and dropping down, and then if, it's okay over the upper windows with gaping holes, but we've got to get in at the bottom. I suppose I'll just keep watch. If any dogs turn up now, then I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to leg it down there and try and find him. This is the second time he's done this to me today. But the first it wasn't a lunatic asylum, the first it was a forest. With a lunatic asylum in the middle of it somewhere. This one is, uh, well it must have been massive, look at it. Because there's like, the clock type, well it's like a, that probably had a siren in it. If someone escaped, I should think. This would have been like rooms, probably. A bit like the one at Lancaster, you know, the Ridgely one that we did. God only knows what the silos are for. I couldn't help you with that. Maybe water tanks or something. This place this size would have used a hell of a lot of water. If there's any spirit people here still lingering, would you like to come forward, please? Because I did hear somebody knock on that, something knocked on that pipe over there. I have no idea what it is. Right, so he's vanished, so we'll go and have a walk around on our own and just do this. God knows where he is. If he doesn't come back, I'll have to go looking for him. I hope he films it on his phone if he finds anything away in or anything like that. So we'll have a walk up to... Um, there's a chapel around the back and it looks like it used to be the morgue or something. So we'll have a look up there and we'll see if there's a way into that because it's like a little stone church or something. So we're in North Wales guys, <clears throat> so we're not too far from Conway, uh, Col Colwyn Beach and Conway and Rill and Lad Dudnor Beach are all in this area just to give you an idea of uh, location where we are. Popular holiday spot, bank holiday weekends for us and stuff like that because it's only like an hour, two hours drive. Plenty campsites and things like that, hotels. So um, yeah, this is the back of the building we've just been around. So that's over there, I think. I think that's gonna be like a mortuary, a chapel and a mortuary. So let's go up and explore that. Because if Andy's gone into the main hospital, he has got his phone on him. So I'm hoping that if he finds a way in, he's just going to go ahead and film as much footage as he can. And we'll go up here and do the church and the morgue. Because uh, we're going to be getting separate cameras soon. And we're going to be doing more long vigil stuff. So a lot of these abandoned buildings we're going to come back to. And um, go our separate ways and then do like a, a full hours long vigil. And then, you know, put it on and see uh, what each other has picked up so because I think the, the less people you have I know I've just said safety in numbers and all of that around there but the less people you have on a paranormal shoot uh, the more chance you've got of picking something up because it isn't going to be someone else making that noise so this is the old church and I think it looks to me like it would have been um, mortuary as well because these places back in the Victorian times especially they had the morgue on site and they would have had the morgue directly beside the actual church where they would have had the funeral and stuff. So my guess is that, and if we can get in, we will. The sense of breeze blocks stuff up a lot, you know, then you can't get in at all. Even so, this is a pretty uh, good building. Can you imagine if you could turn this into a house? Or a nightclub or something like that, how awesome that would be. England has a good few nightclubs which are converted churches and things like that. And they're literally, the sound inside them is amazing. 
because it's all stone and the shape of them and everything. The church windows are all gone, look, all the stained glass. All the people have nicked the lead and stuff. They probably even nicked the stained glass. Stained glass is very expensive. Because now it's like um, a really like bespoke artistic thing to have if you have stained glass. Everybody used to have stained glass. But now it's more of a you know feature. So the stained glass, I suspect, could have been robbed. Like the copper always gets robbed in these places. The copper piping and stuff. Look down there, there's stone steps and then there's that there. That could be where they stored the bodies when they died under there. And then maybe brought them up here to prepare them for burial. Because definitely the morgue in the Victorian times would have been like attached to the church where they were going to be buried. So yeah, with breeze blocks up. That's a clear sign that they don't want anyone getting in, but it's empty inside, Luke. It's just literally, it'll be fantastic for a club or a bar or something, wouldn't it? Or a restaurant or something like that. It, that's the thing about these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful abandoned buildings. You just think what it could be, you know. Spectacular, you know, windows and things like that. I can just see Andy walking up, so I'll see if he's found a way anywhere in. But there's plenty to film on the outside anyways, guys. Whether we get in or we don't. Let's go and see uh, if he's had any luck getting in. It's not so much the getting in that bothers me, it's the getting kicked out. I saw his bob out, definitely. Which way has he gone? I 100% just saw his bob out. Where's he gone? Unreal. How can a man disappear like this so quickly? I spend half of... I swear to God. I spend half of my life looking for him. Wherever we go. If it's holidays, or airport, or shopping. I spend my entire life just looking for him. His father was exactly the same. I definitely saw his hat walking up. Well, not his hat walking up, but I saw his hat coming up here. So where the hell he's gone, I have no idea. I mean, I hope it was his hat, because if it weren't him, who were it? I just saw then. It was a black bob hat. He's not anywhere, I don't believe this. He's not anywhere at all. I definitely saw... I could have sworn it was him. He'd better be around here somewhere. I might even pick that up on camera, actually. Because it definitely just looked like him. But if he's somewhere else, who was that I picked up on the camera? I have no clue where he's gone. Really, I have no clue at all where he's gone. And if I start walking off down there now and he comes up here. Oh, he's there. So he was walking up here. Andy, did you just... There's a car. Is there a car coming? Oh, no, it's all right. No. Wait, did you just come up here then? No. Oh, that's all right then, because I picked a figure up on camera. I didn't know whether it was. Is everything all right down there? Yeah, there's a gap. Oh, well. <clears throat> I found a gap on this building here. Yeah. I suppose we've probably found the same gap. Yeah. So I filmed around the morgue and everything in the church. Yeah. Uh, but I was looking for you and I thought I saw you walking up and then you disappeared. I thought, oh my God, what if it wasn't you? What if it was oh, a girl? I know she'll come back to that chair. I thought we were, so we will find each other. So I thought, oh, well, oh okay, well, yeah. I knew, I yeah. Knew All right. Yeah, there is, uh, this door's a bit pulled off here, isn't it? But I couldn't go in because I didn't want to leave you. You didn't know where I'd gone and stuff. It's huge, this place, isn't it? I mean, it'd take a couple of shoots to do all of it, really, wouldn't it? But I've got the same as you. I've gone around two buildings and a little bit of that one, and this is the only gap I've seen so far. Oh, I was looking up here, this. That's just the tunnel underground, that. Oh, 
I was looking at this here, but we're going to have to take turns getting in. One's going to have to hold the camera. So I don't know if you want to try getting in. I don't even know how I'm going to get in there. You might watch that bad wire at the top. If you take me back, I might be able to get in. Andy, just take this. I should be able to get in there, actually. It's because I had that. Oh, I couldn't get in. Yeah, so just add something there. I'll be able to get in quick. Yeah, take it. I'm just going to check it safe out here before I come in. You go ahead. Ah. Okay. We've not been able to get in the full bit. Oh, we've got a little bit, which... is... better than nothing. We've got a bit of... Uh, Dembe, so... Yeah. Okay. I'll carry on. Yeah, uh this is probably one of the outer buildings. The other one's just impossible to get in. And it's, uh, yeah, it's absolutely huge. And you just, you probably need about three or four times to be able to get in. So, I mean, it, it, it's just crazy. But I'll show you a bit more of it anyway. I'll show you a bit round. Yeah, so, this is a bit, so it's... This has been a uh, bit bad, but we've got into a little bit of it, but yeah, it's, it's huge, isn't it? Yeah, it's massive. It's absolutely massive. You see the church from there, that's the church we've just been round the outside. <laughs> They would have had the mortuary directly beneath. They found a tunnel underneath the church, so I think the mortuary yeah. underneath. Because back in those days, they would have kept them in the, the mortuary here. Yeah. And then they would have transferred them. I'm glad, I'm glad we've come. I'm glad we managed to get in okay. some of it. Yeah, it's just... Because it, the whole place, there's literally nothing of bits. Look at the roof. Yeah, I even imagine that's like that. Yeah. I was imagine that's more, uh, more reason why people are uh, coming in. But, yeah, it was... Uh, Yeah. Good chance. To the bike So this is. Uh, this is. Uh, Let me ask. Oh, it's not in the window. Medication the, time. It's the mad woman in the medication attic. Medication time. Yeah, what Look, would you. Bookshelves. Yeah, book but bookshelves. What, what books would they be reading? My box. <laughs> No, your wizard boots and witchcraft boots. Look at the fireplace. It's great, that, isn't it? It's great. Yeah, great still fireplace. a lot of really good features. Yeah. Look at the paint, too, blue and turquoise yeah, and stuff. Yeah. They were all very cold colours, weren't they? Yeah, I really think it was calming. You know, if you go in mental health yeah. units, they tend to paint the walls yellow and green because it's been proven yeah. how they're more relaxing to the eye. Those colours mm. seem to relax mm. people more. Yeah. These were very cold colours. Yeah. But, but back in those days, it's whatever paint they could get for the price, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Cheap. Yeah, as you can see. It is very, very dangerous. I think when people set wire in here, that's why they're probably pretty strict about who's coming in and all that now. Get the ivy out and down. It's mad. It's great. It's over second. It's Tarzan. Ah, you could do Tarzan. Me, Tarzan, you, Jane. <laughs> probably pull on that and take the roof down. Reclaiming it, isn't it? That's what happens, nature takes yeah. over and it becomes more abandoned as more fancy. Is that a window on the right hand side? Is that looking at Look at this here. I'm going to go into the mirror. This might be our better option for getting out, to be fair. Yeah, but it's blocked. It's blocked. blocked. It's blocked up it? on that bit, isn't it? Yeah, Somebody's you can. gone down that tunnel there, though. Yeah. Let's just try to I'm just going to have a look at this down here. What's that?
toilets. Yeah. There you go. Just check the battery. I think it's going to be ten minutes to get back. Yeah. So, yeah. We've got some. Uh, what was the to get in We've got him. We've got him, and yeah, it was a bit, uh, a bit muddled. Just finding that door in it. All yeah, that way. finding that, that door. I just think. Machine, yeah. Yeah. We'll head back up to the mortuary then and we'll head back that way. Oh, yeah. And just yeah. Security. I don't like the police prices, are Yeah, I mean. I'll just bring it like this door, isn't it? I'll just have to jump on it and get it that way. <laughs> oh, my God. What did you get from that? I'll let you take the camera off. Yeah, I'll film you coming out there now. Sorry about my hand, guys. Give it here, I'll take it. Yeah. Right, do you want to put this on so I can carry on filming the rest? Yeah. Right, put it on. Alright, so I'll just show you a little bit more before we head back because it being daylight hours and all that, I don't want us to risk getting in trouble because it's going to ruin the rest of the night we've got castle to do and we have a cliff edge to do and uh, we might do a little uh, fire pit stuff tonight outside the tent tell you some guys some real life paranormal ghost stories real ones experiences that we've had off camera things that we haven't filmed yeah you would need to really I and mean, as much as it is an amazing place because we're in north wales for a couple of days we need to get round as much as many locations as we can down here, guys. So we make the best use of our time. So we're only going to go where uh, you know we're able. So yeah, so it gives you an idea anyway of what the whole entire building throughout is like. Like you go down there, and it'll be exactly the same. So let's head up these steps and go back to our hall in the fence that we got through. He's gone again. I think he's got St Vitus dance, you know the wandering leg syndrome. Because whichever direction I go, he's guaranteed to go the opposite way. I should have gone that way and then I made him come this way. <clears throat> It'd be great if his owls nesting up here. I bet the air, you know, round right there and everything, roosting. So then be a... No. What? What? Oh, it's not people. That weren't there before. Where is it? Is that a tractor? No. Them tractors were there when we come in? No, that. What? The chair? Bloody Annabelle. Oh, what's that? Oh my god. That what is it? That, that way, really. No. No way. Seriously. Oh shit. No. What is it? No, 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 no. no. <gasps> it's Annabelle. Is it Annabelle? Why would somebody leave Yeah, it's Annabelle. Why would that be here? Oh that's my god. Just, that's just weird. That's freaky, that. That's. I've started shaking my mind now. It's been Annabelle. What's Annabelle doing here? I've not heard anybody. Do you think that she's meant to be there for us? Come on, just take her. My heart's going. Mine is. My it is Annabelle. Is it's Annabelle's hurt. dress and everything. It's oh the one God. from the second one, the original. That's creepy, that. I reckon take it on. I can't, yeah, I can't remember which way we came now. Can you remember which way we came? Oh. The abandoned tractors. All right, I'm heading back that way, yeah. That's creeped me out now, that doll. What's that doing here? How did that get here? Somebody's obviously done a ghost investigation and left it for the next people to find. It's brand new. But you know what? I think some people might have been doing some spooky stuff have put it there to frighten the crap out of some. Because a lot of people do this place at night time, guys. And we just wanted to get a feel for the place, you know, because we haven't been before. So once we've got a feel for the place, we probably will do it at night time. But right now, uh, we want to go on and do um, a castle two castles we're going to see which ones we can get in and uh, one is that one there which you can walk straight into that one I'll show you it from here i mean and there's abigaili castle which is where they recently filmed for those people who watch i'm a celebrity get me out of here they filmed it at abigaili castle we're going to have a drive up there now and see if we can get in but if you did it at night Probably get into that one. Well, that's what I was thinking. So maybe we'll come back at night and do that at spooky castle up there. Yeah. Yeah. I think that one. That one. That's like more than like a prison. Uh, 
you know what I mean? Like the secure thing because it's got the bars on it. Which one? Oh, this one here, you mean? The cream building? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. So it could have been the criminally insane that were in there then. Bars on, it's bars on the windows. They only put bars on when it's criminally insane because I remember when, do you remember we did the ride out to Presswich? Yeah. Um, Presswich Mental Health Hospital is for the criminally insane. I mean, there is like, um, on our hospital, I think six rooms for criminally insane. But then they get transferred across to Presswich Manchester hours. So, we've probably only showed you like an, an eighth of that place. It's huge. It's one of them places you have to come at different angles to see how best to get in. So I think we've done this end of it. When we come back down this way, probably later on this year, we'll try and get on the other side of it and show you some more. What happens with these places? It's all abandoned, uh, you have, uh, YouTube people will tell you. You can have a really good run doing abandoned and all of a sudden they'll come and like put fresh chipboard up and all that and you can't get in at all. So it's kind of like it's, the timing is, is the thing really for doing this kind of I stuff. Know people probably think this is a weird thing to say, but do you know when I saw that coming down that hill, it was like the same thought I had when I saw it. I mean, in a way the pyramids, but it was like, oh, yeah. that is just awesome. It is I mean, awesome. Like, it's I mean, the biggest I mean, hospital I've seen yet to date. I mean, I, love, like, I mean, there are some big ones because uh, Matthew Williams and you know the YouTubers are doing some really, really, really big hospitals. But that one, I think, is the biggest we've seen. Yeah. But if um, I love Lancaster, but yeah, but if if Ridgely but, still had the original other hospital with it, it probably would have been the same. But does it just show you how big these places were back in the day? And this is why I love when you watch films and stuff when they show you the old Victorian, uh, you know, lunatic asylums and stuff like that. There's a we've got in through the fence down here. See what I mean? Off he goes again. If you think you can get down there, go on, but don't forget. We've got in this way. But can you get out that way? You could get out that way. Is it a drop? It's not massive. Let's have a look. If it's a, a short drop, that sounds like a hanging thing, that, doesn't it, a short drop? We'll be going to the short drop if we don't get out of here. Oh yeah, we can manage that. If there's things to hold on to, we're all right. Did you bring that flipping Annabelle doll? I can't believe that thing turned up here, but you know, people, it might have been for Randonautica. What if someone's playing Randonautica and has left it? Perhaps, that's the only thing I can think of. Anyway, we now appear to be proud owners of an Annabelle doll. Courtesy of the uh, Denby Asylum. Can you hold anything? Uh, no, I think I'm out. Once I've wrestled with the undergrowth. Yeah, we're out. Mm. Oh. Mm. Gotta be the only two people on a Saturday night breaking into a lunatic asylum. Most people are doing the best to break out. What else would you be doing? Are we back on the path if we come down here? I'll uh, take the camera because I'm likely to fall clean on my ass here. In fact, it's 100% guaranteed. Oh, we'll go down that way then. I'll come this way, but I need things to hold on to. Alright. Okay. Alright. I can sort of slide. Hold the camera up. Yeah, I'm. Uh, Is it still in the floor? I know. I would get in That's the position ready to, ready, to, ready, to, ready to hold you. I'm alright, I'm down now. I'm just. Mm. Right, so that's the job done. We've done, well, we've only done a tiny little piece of it, really. So, but at least we've done some. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. and we've got ourselves an Annabelle doll. That was. So that's Denby Asylum, I North Wales. That. It's a great place, but we really need to, yeah. I think at night time might be our better chance because, yeah. but the thing is torches, you'd have to keep the torches down to get in. Well, we know where we, we know where that we can, where we can get in. Yeah. And don't forget, it'll be dark at night, so we can get down to that other building. Yeah. In the dark, in yeah. the bushes, along the wall, stuff like that, without being seen. All so right. So perhaps uh, we'll, maybe we'll come back then. Maybe we'll have a look uh, later on. Some point we, we will. It's, it's just huge. It's yeah, just it's huge. Unbelievable. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we'll leave you 
leave you here at the asylum, guys, and then we'll uh, uh, get back in touch with you when we go to the next Welsh location, which I think is going to be one of the two castles that yeah, I just mentioned yeah. before, whichever one we can get in. All right, so see you later, guys. See you later.